Grandpa. I'm bored. Oh, Eric. I'll tell you a story of when I was a boy. Okay. Back in 1837. The French were defeated and the British reigned in the new colony. However, there were many French citizens in Lower Canada. In fact, more than the British. The British minority had to make sure that they had all the power to themselves. You know, we must assimilate these French people into our superior British North American culture. I agree. We need to make sure that they don't become a distinctive and powerful force in our colony. Yes, that's, that's very true. Uh, there, there is a French majority here in Lower Canada, but we have to do everything we can to make sure that they have limited power and say in how our country works. It's our master, all right? A man by the name of Louis Joseph Papineau was one of the leaders of the rebellion I'm going to tell you about. I'm so outraged with what they are doing to us. We are so much more than them. We are so many more people. We can take them down. We must take action. They can't oppress us like this. I must take action, but fast. I need a crystal. The French grew unhappy with the things happening in Canada. They were demanding more rights, but always ignored. Moi, as the Francais citizen of Canada, I demand more rights from you. No, why so? We are being treated unfairly with that irresponsible goddamn mouth. Oh. Hmm. Let me think. You know, no, get out. But we want more rights. Out. You have not heard the last of moi. We need to make a proposed bill full of all the resolution that we want for our new Canada, where the grass is greener and the sky is bluer. We need responsible government. C'est vrai! We need more French rights. We need more political power. I sat in court watching the infamous court proceedings of Papineau <coughs> versus the government of Lower Canada. All right. Court is in order. I, Papineau, propose 92 resolutions to solve the discontent within Lower Canada. I object. These so-called resolutions would only make the situation worse. <coughs> this discontent is being caused right now because of the bad government thing. You're making the situation bad. I'm going to make it better. That is incorrect. It became a very heated argument. Papineau and the government couldn't agree on anything the other said. All right, give me the give me your proposed bill. Here it Thank is. Very much. We'll go over these. I will hand them to the executive council, and I assure you, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Court is adjourned. You know, you know, boy, the assembly sent <coughs> the resolutions to the British government and, and they only received such negative responses three years later. And the same thing happened in 1835 in Upper Canada <coughs> when the Executive Council vetoed Mackenzie's <coughs> reform uh, 
bill the seventh report of the grievances? <clears throat> in 1837, protests rallies began to take place on the streets of Montreal. Down with the government! Down with the government! Yeah. Papineau! Charge! Papineau! 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 More yeah. rights to the French! More rights for us! French rule! Yeah. Down with the government! Down! Government sucks! Down with the government! Yeah. Down yeah. with the government! Down! Down with the government! Papineau rule! Papineau rule! Back in, in November 16th, a little boy was truly a day to remember in our history. <clears throat> Government leaders and troops tried to arrest the Patriot in Longa. And trust me, it wasn't pleasant, it wasn't pretty, and it didn't go down smoothly. <clears throat> the first violence, the first violence of the rebellions broke out. Bonjour! Comment ça va? Ça va bien et toi? Ça va très bien. Yeah. Yeah. In the name yeah. of the British government, you are under arrest. Cresson! Ah, you have no right! Ah. clashes between rebel forces and government troops followed. By November 25th, several lower Canadian towns had been looted and burned by government. Troops and their rebel leaders had fled. Ah! Ah! Junior. Meanwhile, on December 4th, Mackenzie called upon all his troops to meet him at Montgomery's Tavern near Toronto. And then on December 7th, <clears throat> with pitchforks and all the weapons they could find, they ordered, they, they marched toward the city. The marchers were met by the militia who forced them to retreat. By December 8th, the rebellions were over. The rebel forces defeated and their leaders on the run. I don't understand. How could we have been defeated? <clears throat> That's about the end of the story, Junior. And you know what we can learn from this? What, well, Grandpa? That no matter what happens, you have to try your best and make a change. Grandpa, I'm bored. <coughs> Whoa, Bear. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you a story that my grandpa told me when I was a young lad. Okay. December 4th, Mackenzie called upon all his followers, Eric, to meet him at, at Montgomery. Tavern North. We need a proposed bill of all the things that we want. For a. Uh, no. <laughs> it's, it's right here, Eric. It's right. We need to make a proposed bill. <laughs> Are you. We need to make a proposed bill of all the things we want for Canada to do, to change. We need a responsible government on our bill. 
one where the grass is greener. Oh and my We need a proposed bill of all the resolutions that we want to make a new Canada. We need responsible government in this Canada so the grass can be greener and the sky can be <laughs> Oh, go. We need to make a proposed bill where all the resolutions that we want are on it. Oh my god. And other No, I forgot it. No, I forgot. No, I forgot. No, I forgot it. <laughs>